Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure DevOps Pod and the processes which we have available with Azure DevOps projects. We'll learn how do you plan your work with Azure DevOps Pods. Let's first of all understand what is Azure DevOps Board. So Azure DevOps Board is a web service or a service available in Azure DevOps which can help the team to manage their software project related work. It provides the rich set of capabilities to for the native supports of the processes like Scrum, Kanban Board, Agile, CMMI. So it depends upon the work you which you would like to or the process which you would like to follow for your project or the software implementation, you can use the process in the Azure DevOps board and you can plan your work according to that and you would be able to trace, plan and track the progress of the project within the Azure DevOps itself. It also provides the different tools which can help your business or your software application development. So let's see how many process types we have available in the Azure DevOps. So by default in Azure DevOps, you have four different processes available. First one is basic process. This process is basically suitable for the project, which is for the small scale duration, which is typically not, not want to follow the agile or scrum process. This is just to achieve the small scale project wherein you would like to accomplish certain features within your project or deal with some issues or enhancements within the project so that's the process or which is a basic process is suitable for that kind of a work next you have the agile process which is the process type suitable for the project who wants to follow a proper agile cycle in your project development life cycle so you can go ahead with the agile process type next you have the flavor of agile process which is the scrum type of process so if you are working on a proper Agile with this Scrum methodology when you would like to follow the sprint review, retrospective, planning and, and things like that, then you can go ahead and choose this Scrum type of process, uh, which is again a standard version of your Agile process. Next, you have the uh, CMMI process, which is close to your traditional application development process, which is your waterfall model, wherein you define your requirement plan and then perform the execution and testing and then if there are changes you would like to you know adopt those changes in form of the change request and so on we'll go into the details of each and every process this is just an overview of these different process types and then we'll look at how do you use the process types into your planning work of your project let's have a quick comparison between the different process types based on the features which are available within these process type in terms of the planning of your work. So first of all, we have the basic process type wherein there are categories of feature or available to plan your work. You have the epic which can help you to manage your portfolio or a backlog wherein you can define your business initiative or the milestone in form of the epic and then to deal with those epics, you can create the project issues or an underneath task to uh, accomplish those issues. So that's the simplest process type available in Azure, which is a basic process type. So as I said, if you have the basic or the small scale project, then this is where you can use this particular process type. Next, you have the agile process type. So again, the, the three different categories of work or the entire process is defined into or divided into three different categories where you first category at the top here you have the epic and future which will helpful to define your portfolio or project backlog which will help to you know define the overall vision what do you want to accomplish as the agile project or within the iteration or sprint life cycle for example you define those epics and features and then it is more detail drill down into the next level of detail for example you would like to create the user stories and the underneath tasks to complete those user stories 
and if there are any issues you would like to deal with the third process which is creating an issue on top of the user story or i would say the related issues which are or create issue which are related to the user story next you have the scrum as i said the scrum will follow this similar pattern what we have in agile so if you look at the top block you have the portfolio backlog management same as we have in the agile you have you got the epic in future next you instead of in the backlog level at the backlog level you have got the product backlog item and the task so instead of user story you got the product backlog item so you define your product backlog item or pbi and you would also create the task underneath and as an issue tracking instead of calling it as an issue basically you call it as an impediment so impediment is something or uh, impediment defines as in blocker to achieve certain tasks so for example if you are working on a product backlog item or a pbi and if you have any technical non technical blockers to complete or to progress that pbi then what you do is you create the impediment and that impediment will be dealt by your scrum master and that your scrum master team will help scrum master will help you to resolve that particular impediment so that you can progress ahead with your pbis next at the last you have the scrum board uh, or the scrum type of process again the portfolio backlog is process types are remain same process items remain same next you have the backlog in the backlog you define the proper requirement and those requirement will be addressed with the help of those tasks so underneath the requirement you are going to create the task to achieve those requirement and while proceeding ahead with the requirement you would have certain additional features which you can use for example you can create an issue up to uh, along with these the given requirement or you if there are any changes to the requirement you have to you may want to create a change request and after completing the requirement you might want to have a review and risk analysis which you can track it as well with the help of scrum with the help of cmmi level process so this is what the different process types are designed or given in the azure devops this is just an overview we'll go into the details of each and every process into a separate videos this is just an understanding of the high level overview what are the different features given to us in terms of using the azure devops process now let's go into the demonstration and see how do we choose these any of these process while creating the creating the project I'll go into my Azure DevOps account. So here I am on my organization, Azure DevOps organization. So if I create a new project by clicking here on this create new project, if you look at here, I need to give the name of the project description, visibility. And if I scroll it down or click on this advanced button, here is the drop down selection item wherein I can choose the process type so if you look at here you have got the different process types and the basic process is the default process which has been selected as a tick mark as the drop down selection item i can anytime go ahead and cha change the process type at the time of creating process and even after creating the process i'll show you how do you do that so let's first of all create a basic process type for example this is the name of the project I have given. I am going to create the project with the basic process type that will create a brand new project which is of type basic. I can verify the process type from the project settings. So you can see that this is what the process shown here at the overview of the project. If I want to change this basic process type to some other process type for an example, click on the process type that will navigate to the organization level setting if you look at carefully this is my organization and i am under the organization setting and from here it is showing all process under the board and currently it is selected as a basic process because i have clicked from the basic process so it is navigated 
through the basic level of process. This is the different work item selection or work item types available under the basic process type. You have the backlog levels which are again available within this particular process type and that will show the number of projects which are created with the help of basic process type. Now if I want to change this process type or the, this project's process type, I can click on these three dots and click on this change process. So that will ask me to choose the another process type. So basic is already selected. So it is giving the rest of this option available here in this process type. So this is option number one. You can do that and that will help you to change the project process type. I will highly recommend not to change the process type during the implementation. It is something which you might want to change it when you are creating the project and you want to decide which process or methodology you would like to use to plan your work in this particular project type. Alright, 